There's no such thing as time travelers. Yes, there is. Perhaps you saw or read The Time Traveler's Wife. The movie is based on a novel by Audrey Niffenegger. That's what I've loved since I was a little kid. I always loved things that were fantastical or surreal or crazy. Things. She wrote much of the novel at Ragdale House in Lake Forest. It was once the country estate of architect Howard Van Doren Shaw. In 1976, his granddaughter Alice turned it into a retreat for artists to escape the noise and distractions of everyday life. For one thing, it's just nice to get out from behind the computer and be in the sun. <laughs> Isn't this great? Niffenegger wrote many pages sitting in this prairie behind the home. This serene setting inspired her to create a special spot for her characters to meet in the story. We're sitting in one of the main inspirations. I used to come and sit out here and, and just imagine things that they might get up to. And it's one of those things where a real place jumps into fiction pretty, pretty much whole. This special place gives artists two things they so desperately need, space and time. If you got up in the morning and you had the means to work on your art and to work on your writing, that was really the important thing. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't so much about fame and fortune. It was just about being able to do that. Derek Sherman had never written a book. He's an advertising executive. With a job, a wife, and children, the only time he could find to write was when he was on the train, until he applied to Ragdale. The grounds are so beautiful, the house is so old, and so full of art, and you can feel it all around you. You know you're not here for any other purpose. And Sherman's novel got published. Race Across the Sky just hit bookstores this summer. While some see the humanities as a ticket to the unemployment line, others see the arts as a valuable way to teach people the analytical skills, the power of expression. What some see as a waste of tuition dollars, Sherman sees as a road to success. I have friends on Wall Street that are recruiting philosophy, history, and English majors because they want that different type of thinking and conceptual thinking applied to how they analyze companies and trends. Ragdale House is on the National Register of Historic Places. It's a nonprofit community that hosts 150 artists each year. Composers, sculptors, painters, writers, and more. People may come in, focus on their own work. What they don't expect is that every night at dinner, there's a family style dinner and they're interacting with other creative people from other parts of the world. And, and that has a magic in itself. The relationships, the history, the beauty of nature, all inspire the artists and transform their ideas into a beauty all its own. Whether on the big screen or in our own imagination. Larry Potash, WGN News.